So we're going to jump into making some videos on some of the new things you can find in Mastercam 2021. Uh, in this first video, we're going to look at one of the new options that you can find on the linking parameters page. Next up in linking parameters, we've got some new options starting for Mastercam 2021. And to show the functionality, I'm just gonna grab a portion of this part and I'm just gonna set my depth here to an absolute position at the bottom of that feature there. And these are the settings we're looking at up top. So before we turn these on, let's just get a, a look at this base toolpath. So hit okay. And so there's our, our tool path, uh, one rough, one finish, and the wrapping back to the start, uh, the profile here between the end of the rough and the start of the finish. So I'm just gonna slide this over so we can see this stuff change on screen as we build this stuff out. And let's first look at this one, output feed move. So if I checkbox this, what this is gonna do is anything that's currently a rapid, and rapids are all these yellow lines, uh, we can change those rapids to straight G01 movements. And with that, we can give them a feed rate. So let's say uh, 400 inches per minute. So instead of a G00 X, Y coordinate, we're going to get a G01 X, Y coordinate F400 on that movement. So let's look at the difference here. So those have all changed colors. I do have my toolpath coloring turned on, so those reposition moves are showing up as this reddish brown tinted color, uh, but they are no longer G00 movements. Now, why would you wanna do this? I'm just gonna click okay on this for a minute. Let's go into a top view. And this movement right across here, that, that movement between the end of the rough and the start of the finish, if it's a G00, notice how this is in fact traveling farther in X than it is in Y. Uh, so typically a default machine behavior when rapiding is both the X and Y axes will move as fast as they possibly can until they reach their destination. So if we're programming a G00 with a position that has to travel farther in X than it does in Y, that means the Y will reach its destination first and let's just sketch this out so we can kind of see what's going to happen. And we'll put a point there. So basically, if, if both axes are moving at the exact same speed, the line that it's going to create is going to be an exact 45 degree angle. Okay, so X and Y moving as fast as they can. And as soon as uh, the X reaches its destination, it will no longer be rapiding and it will move in a straight line. Or sorry, that would be the Y it reaches its, its destination first. Sorry, I misspoke there. And so basically what would happen on a machine in a G00 is you're gonna get this motion here. And that's what we refer to as a dog leg rapid. Now on this part, it's probably not a big deal. Uh, we probably wouldn't see much of a difference between this dog leg and this non dog leg, but you can see if, if one of these dimensions starts to get a lot longer, like say we're trying to wrap it to over here somewhere, uh, we're going to get in a more extreme dog leg versus what would be a gradual line like that. Now, where this is a problem again is if you're verifying this program in Mastercam and it programs or it verifies clean, it doesn't hit anything when it's doing its repositioning, uh, but if you've got bosses on top of this part that you're trying to avoid, and they avoid it in simulation, when you go to the machine and you're wrapping in a different motion, you could now start to get crashes. Some machines do have settings that disable dogleg rapids, but uh, typically you would want to be seeing behavior in Mastercam that exactly matches the machine no matter what. So that's what this allows you to do. So basically when we output a G01 movement, uh, the axes will arrive at the location at the same time. So you're going to get a straight line movement with a G01 command. So with that motion, we've also got this setting here called art fic maximum radius. So when we turn this on, let's give this a value of say half of an inch. Let's hit okay and rebuild this toolpath. 
And notice we're getting some arcing motion happening between that abrupt movement. We're not getting straight up, straight over. We're now getting a blend motion in there. Uh, what that typically will allow is a, a smoother transition between those high speed movements. It's typically a little easier on the machine, a little more fluid, less abrupt, and allows you to keep that higher feed rate as you transition into a different direction. Okay, so I think for better results, a, a larger radius would maybe work a bit better. Uh, but again, this depends if it's going to fit or not. It looks like we're getting the maximum radius there as is anyways. A couple things to keep in mind with that is when you turn this uh, arc fitting radius on, it, you're going to get a slight increase in the amount of G-code that you're going to get. Um, obviously, one line of code versus one line of code, this movement in here is going to create additional code. If we zoom in on this toolpath right now as is and do an analyze toolpath, you can see there's a, a line segment, line segment, line segment, line segment. Each of those would be a line of code. So we're seeing uh, a, an increase in code uh, that needs to be generated in order to produce that, that movement. So keep that in mind if you have a machine with limited space, uh, turning these arcs on might not be optimal. If, if needed, uh, you could also try disabling the G01 output and outputting those arcs as rapids. Uh, you're going to see the same result, though. That's still going to be individual lines of code. Uh, how much more fluent that makes it when these are all small little G00s uh, depends to be, it will depend on the machine that you're using those, those for. Uh, but just know you can output them as rapids or as feed code, but typically I think that the most common use case there uh, will be output as the G01 high feed rate motion.